Okay, this could be the very same green snake that we filmed the other day. It's about, oh, it's like about 25, 30 feet away from the Norfolk Island pine that the other, or the, that we filmed the snake in. Uh, it's in, at the base of a, an American elm tree. and some pots that I have not put up yet. The uh, elm tree has an interesting uh, history. I'm going to back up and give you a shot of it. It is about, uh, let's see, coming up on 20 years old, I think 18 years old. Uh, and the nearest American elm tree uh, to here is uh, a little town called Schrader, just about four miles down the road. And there's an American elm tree that's been there as long as I can remember. And it, what happened was in, in 2003, we had Hurricane Claudette. And the next year, uh, this tree and two others sprouted and the only thing i can think of is that uh, the seeds were blown from the tree at schrader uh, here to the farm the winds came out of the east for a while and that's the direction that schrader is from here so uh, that's the only way i know that the seeds got here the uh, three trees grew on different sides of the house so uh, it wasn't like i accidentally got seeds in and put uh, uh, so I'm pretty sure that the tree came from, grew from seed from Schrader. Okay, see if I can get a close-up of this guy's head. He's a little unhappy about that. It's uh, late afternoon, I think it's around 5 o'clock, and, and uh, the, so the sun's at an angle. Well, I'm going to let him hunt. See, he's pretending to be a leaf blowing in the wind. And there you can actually see some leaves blowing in the wind. He seems to be mimicking those. Apparently, this is from feedback we got from earlier video. This is a rough green snake, not a smooth green snake. Looks pretty smooth to me, but uh, the herp people say that it's a, a rough green snake. So I'll take their word for it. Uh, thank you for watching. Good snake keeping.